Here's what's going down. You're talking to Rufus. The kitten's Jesse. The wheels you driving around this town are making a whole lot of noise. And you know what? I know you. I know your face. You know who this is, Jesse? He's just some driving cat. No, no, he ain't. He ain't just some driving cat, lady. This cat's got gasoline in his veins. Looks like you could use a drink, pussycat. I ain't thirsty. Looks like you could use a drink, pussycat. I was at the track when Rusty Slater got a little bumpy with you. Man, you started some fire that day. I thought they'd never put that baby out. Okay, so listen. You and me gonna do some business, see? The cops are babysitting a friend of mine, and he ain't too happy with the arrangement. I'm gonna take him off their hand. You catch my drift? There's a French cat in an armored car. Man, he's one mean, cold-blooded killer. When he ain't in jail, you know some cat somewhere's gonna take a visit to the morgue with a cap in his ass. See, we gonna bust him out. You gonna drive him away, all the way into a sweet 8,000 bucks. You dig? My friend, you better understand about Rufus. You screw up, you better not show up. We got a deal, man. Small bills. Truth is, Tanner, three years on the department and you're still the best driver I got. We don't get too many ex-racing boys in here. Low-life rumble in Miami is there's a hunt on for a guy who can pump the gas. Big getaway, big job. Maybe even some kind of hit. Some hood by the name of Rufus is in the picture. We need a line on it. Coffee? Black, right? Guys upstairs were asking for you in person. Look, we need you to go under. But no one's gonna know except me. If I bring anyone else in, I'll let you know. I need your badge. Any questions? <laughs> baby, baby, listen to me. Why don't you come into the office? Come on, baby. Maybe I got a little something for you. I got something for you. Now back off. Whoa, Jesse, stay loose, kitten. You know what this is, don't you? Give me the piece, baby. Back off, Rufus. Don't you go making this worse. This ain't what I wanted. Baby, give me the piece. You got what's yours, baby. Listen, lady. I gotta tell you, you got a real bad attitude. That ain't helping any. I wanna see my lawyer. You don't get it, do you? We don't want you. We just wanna know about the French guy. Or maybe you wanna tell us why you blew away your boss. He wasn't my boss. Whatever. Listen, if I don't do what I'm told, I don't live too long. If I tell you what you wanna know, I don't live too long either. Life sucks, huh? Ain't you just the wise guy? You gonna cut a deal, or you gonna take communal showers for 20 years? The French guy was pulling the strings. Who's pulling his? I don't know. I don't know. Uh-huh. Well, we can come back to that. Suppose you don't know where he is either, huh? I said, I suppose you don't know I where heard. he- I heard. I heard. The guy's in Frisco. Listen, I don't know how, Dink, but they ain't know. Maybe they looking for me. As soon as I take care of business, I'm gonna hold my beautiful ass out of here. You know what I say? Hey, be cool, man, okay? Listen, just buzz me if you get a line on this thing, okay, man? You know Rudy? Man, I, I don't know no Rudy. Oh, that Rudy. Sure, I know Rudy. He's my main man. Lay a little more of that green stuff on me, man, and I will sing you any song that you like. 
You know the Gold Rush Hotel mojo? Damn, man! Hey, the treads! Watch the treads, man! You know it. Yeah, yeah, I know. French guy in the city. On the run. Miami. Tell me who he talks to, where he goes. For Rudy. We gonna get out fine, man! Shit. Well, maybe I need to lean on the guy a little more. I'll uh, leave it to your uh, professional judgment. Tanner, hey, come here. Slater, here's the guy I want you to meet. He's been doing some driving for uh, associates of mine. Huh? So, uh, you two know each other? This guy used to be a driver. Till he had a little accident. Well, <laughs> well. A little competition might be uh, good for you, Slater. He ain't no competition. <clears throat> this is the guy who got me out. I don't think you want to shoot him, my friend. Not with a 357 Magnum in between your eyes. Hey, hey, put the piece away, Slater. That's what happens when you run off at the mouth. Now the score's even, so let's everyone just take it easy. Hey, I may even use both of you when... Uh, John Paul here earns his pay, but we'll get around to that. Slater, Tanner's doing work for me now. The ten thousand dollars, Tanner. Hand him over, Chester. One day, you and me gonna dance. Strike up the tune, baby. Talk. Those punks, standing just just a couple of lowlifes who got lucky and tagged me for a meal ticket, man. Figured I knew something you was gonna increase some bills for. You know what I'm saying? I guess I was their ace, and they played me, man. Uh, the French cat and Castaldi met some suit up in the painted ladies. The suit goes by the name of Hancock. Uh, Don Hancock. That smooth operator running for office on the East Coast. That self-same cat who surfs the backwater of sleeves. You know what I'm saying, my man? You know something else? There's some cat called Slater. He don't like you, man. He don't like you at all. If your brakes ain't working too good, he's the cat who knows why. You know what I'm saying? He ain't finished with you yet. So be cool, man. Your ass, Tanner. Did you hear about Slater? We think the cops got him. We saw what was left of his car. Looks like he chewed on too much speed. Wasn't even a job. It don't add up. Mr. Castaldi don't want you working for no one else from now on. Only his contacts, understand? You can't trust no one here. Town's packed full of gangsters. <laughs> Get your bags. We got ourselves some work in L.A. We're gonna do our gangster shit there. It's time we took care of the business we came to this town for. Since we don't have Slater, we got ourselves a different driver. But, uh, Jean-Paul, you handle the hit, and I'll handle the backup. When do we go? Tomorrow night, on the steps of the Chinese theater. I want to know, does this mean the hit in New York is lined up? This means we take out Bill Maddox. Then we wait for the signal and, yes, my friend, then you can start shining up those silver slugs with a famous name on them. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. Oh, oh one last thing, gentlemen. Don't let me down.
Mike's leg. Mackenzie sent me. Hancock, McEstaldi, and Frisco. They're cooking up some serious shit together. Find out what you can. Sure, but Mackenzie's gonna want more than that. All he's getting is bodies and expenses. There's gonna be a hit on Bill Maddox. Bill Maddox? The FBI security guy? I didn't think anyone knew he was in town. Castaldi knows, and he's gonna cut short his visit. When? Tomorrow night on the steps of the Chinese theater. We'd better pull him out. No. Don't change a thing. I want to keep my cover. They ain't gonna groove to this, Tanner. Put a vest on him. Wrap him up in bodyguards. Pull what strings you can, but make sure he's seen at the Chinese theater. Do what it takes. I'm staying under. Ah, oh, they knew we were coming. I'm sure of it. They were just sitting waiting for us. We were like tin ducks in a shooting gallery. Quiet. God damn this shit, man! We got a rat! I said, quiet. Yeah? You're damn straight we got a rat. You think it's the driver? I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. We got a rat for sure. You drove well tonight, Tanner. You, uh, you got something you wanna say to me? I drive well every night. I'll ask you one more time. If you got something to say, then you better say it. Slater. Slater's in a Frisco cell taking heat. You better get real specific, real quick. It figures. Slater knew all about this, and so he sings a song to the police and saves himself some circuits on the exercise yard. No way, Slater. That don't lay right. You would never do that, right? The question is simple. Do you trust Slater, or do you trust Tanner? This changes nothing. We finish up here, and we move on to New York, and wait for the signal. Leck. It's Tanner. Why all the officers the other night? Not my idea. Maddox wouldn't play ball lest they were there. Did your cover hold? Is Mackenzie talking to the FBI? They were with him this morning. Marcus Vaughn, no less. One of their top guys paid him a visit. He told him nothing. Hell, that ain't hard for Mackenzie. He don't exactly dig Vaughn. I'm piecing this together, Leck. You want to know who flew into town tonight? Marcus Vaughn. I know, because I've just seen him talking with Castaldi. Goddamn, what the hell are you saying, Tana? Just telling you what I saw. You telling me Castaldi's talking with Hancock and Vaughn? What the hell's going down? That ain't the kind of information I plan on keeping to myself, Leck. Castaldi's gang's flying out to New York tomorrow. I'll see you there. Hey, Skim. Hey. Fix me a quarter pound of them chestnuts. Sure. Mackenzie wants you out, you know? He don't think your cover's gonna hold much longer. He's doing what he can, but there's holes everywhere. Mackenzie wants you out. Keep the change. I heard you were in town, Tanner. You still breaking and entering, Alley? As a matter of fact, I was just about to leave. You're still keeping girls waiting far too long. Don't look to me like you're leaving. This time I'm gonna make a fresh start. New city, new job. How long you been working for Hancock? Couple of years, I guess. Yeah, I know. I know he's crooked. What are you mixed up in, Tanner? What I know and what I can prove ain't exactly seeing eye to eye right now. What are you gonna do when this all blows over, Tanner? What's the matter, Ollie? Can't kick this lock-picking shit? Hancock's safe was- What the hell were you thinking? You said you couldn't lay enough on Hancock. I didn't want you mixed up in this. 
I got this. Never pull this shit on me again. You gonna let me read this? Got a feeling, Lek. I got a feeling it's gonna happen real soon. They're gonna make the hit. Who'd you think it is? I got a feeling it's Big Lek. That's all I know. I'm not getting a kick out of saying it, Tanner, but I'm gonna play the same tune that you already heard. We're not sure if your cover's clean anymore. Man, you pieced all this shit together in the first place. Hancock's bribed half the FBI, and whatever deal he's cut with Castaldi means your ass ain't looking like it's gonna see winter this year. Should I spell it out for you? It's time to get out. Tell Mackenzie I'm gonna need that safe house real soon. I got a hand lick, so I'm gonna play it. And I'm gonna play it good. Screwing up over Maddox cost us time, but now we paid that in full. So today, you're gonna see how it works. John Paul takes up his position across the street. Tanner's gonna pass for FBI, and so he's gonna be our guy on the inside driving a Cadillac. Now all he's gotta do is drive past John Paul nice and easy. And bingo, we got ourselves one hell of a martyr and one hell of a news story. Now we're gonna have four backup cars in case anything goes wrong. One at each junction around- Excuse me, Monsieur Castaldi, but uh, who is the hit? Today, gentlemen, we killed the president. Where you going, Tanner? I got a... Didn't you hear none of that in there? We're going now, baby. You better start giving off police vibes if you're gonna get into that driving seat and do this thing. Need you to make an exchange. This case for a locker key. It's a sweet deal. Cash for a key. In and out. Wham, bam, boom. Meet them at the marina. Get the key or stay out of town. Second Raiders, the casino. You wanna come along? My fee. Ten percent. Twenty. Man, guys gotta make a living. Fifteen. Twenty. You know my price. Okay, but we do it my way. Here's the story. Take this case and make the exchange. Go over the Golden Gate and into the mountains. I'll let them know the car you're driving. You'll get the picture. Just don't get all hot-headed. They won't try anything. Just make the exchange and get out of there. You're all set. Yuppie punks know about these for sure. Now we're gonna just see how smooth you operate. My man, we gotta work fast. Someone's tipped off the cops. We gotta get these out of here now. Get out of here! Use the RV park lockup. Don't lose the crate. It ain't tied down. No, no, no. This ain't no Sunday school ride, Tana. A phone's gonna be ringing the other side of the Transamerica building. Mojo's hoping no one answers it before you do. Now, 
Now you're gonna have to get yourself over to Golden Gate. One last thing. Better hurry, cause it's gonna ring any second. And if Chester gets tired of waiting, that's bad news for Mojo here. <laughs> Real bad news. We were starting to suppose you'd lost interest. Hope we ain't boring you any. Shit, listen to me rapping on. I already started the stopwatch and I never told you where to go. That ain't too fair. Still, if you think you can get yourself to the call box by the Palace of Fine Arts, Switch this key at Grand Central. There's a guy in a Stetson waiting for you. Just be careful. I don't trust him. Did you get it? They try anything. They wired you, huh? Good. We'll call. Get the case, Sep. Nothing personal, buddy. Take care of him. And I'll see you back at Dodge. Sep? Sep? Well, thanks to you, I don't have a job anymore. Don Hancock just doesn't seem to need the staff right now. Did I ever show you this? It's something else I found in Hancock's safe. A rather neat little stack of bills. I had a feeling he wouldn't get much chance to use them, and I thought it would be a shame to waste them. Clever girl. I know.
Next time I need you quickly, I'll try to give you a head start. Either that, or I'll just drive myself out of trouble. I nearly had to leave this behind. I found a lot of things in Hancock's safe. This for one, a little stack of bills. I had a feeling he wouldn't get much chance to use them, and I thought it would be a shame to waste them. Clever girl. I know. You okay, sir? I'm fine, son. We got him. Sir, you okay? Uh-huh. We got him. Tanner, Castaldi, Hancock, and Vaughn. We got them all. Take your badge back now, Tanner. How much of the FBI did Vaughn drag down with him? It's gonna take some time for us to shift right through all this. Meantime, take your badge back. Take it! Tanner! Now you get yourself back here, Tanner! Now you come back here and you pick up this badge! Tanner! You just bought yourself a whole lot of trouble, fella. This is your last chance, Tanner! <laughs> 